In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create three easy farmhouse book stacks to use in your decor. The best part about it is it's super budget friendly. On this channel, I love to share DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. Here are the basic materials that you're going to need for today's projects. Now you can use choose either a crate from Dollar Tree, some scrap 1x4, or you can use actual books. I got mine from Dollar Tree. So let's start off with the crate. So I always take off any stickers, especially like for this piece, because you're definitely going to see them. So when it comes to Dollar Tree crates, you also do need to give it a light sanding to get off any of the rough edges. And then I took some Waverly chalk paint in the color white and I gave it a good coat. I then took some Tim Holtz Distressing Ink to give this piece some character. And I'm applying with this little sponge dauber thing that I got from Hobby Lobby in a big pack. But you could use a paintbrush or really even a paper towel for this part. And I'm just trying not to overdo it with the distressing, just mostly focusing on the edges and the corners like where you would normally see wear. I did cut out decals using my Cricut and I can't stress enough that you can totally make this and other projects using stickers, stencils, even freehanding. Just use what you have available to you. Now a lot of times when you see book stacks, you see the wording on the right side, but I decided to do it a little bit different and put the words on the left side, just mixing it up a bit. And this piece can absolutely be a double sided which is a plus when it comes to keeping decor in hand because one piece could do double duty. And this is how it turned out. And I just embellished it by wrapping, almost fell, some twine around and adding a little bit of greenery to the top. I think it turned out pretty cute. Now for DIY number two, I'm taking three books from the Dollar Tree and I chose these because they were a smaller size. Now, you know, some used bookstores, they just can keep all the books they receive because not all are in good condition. So you could try and find books there, but honestly, real books are normally my very last choice as I typically get my crates from Dollar Tree or I use the scrap wood. And you probably could try and paint the covers, but I normally take off the cover and just leave the rest of the book. And I paint the top edge of the books with Waverly chalk paint in the color white. And really, you only need to paint the top page and the bottom page, as that's the only pages that will really be seen. I prefer light distressing, um, the kind of, you know, light distressed look. But if that's not your thing, you could totally skip this part. And I, again, used Tim Holtz Distressing Ink and just went around the edges. I also did add to the spine, or I did sand the spine, it didn't add to it. I sanded the spine to make sure it was smooth enough for the decal that I was going to be applying. And I did use my Cricut again for this. And I applied the decals on the right side this time. And one thing that some people do is apply a light coat of Mod Podge to keep the pages together, but I don't mind if they're loose. I actually kind of like it like that. And I try not to do too much to the real books. And technically, you still could read this one if you wanted to. This turned out super cute. The distressing is a bit darker than I was really initially wanting, but I still think it turned out beautiful. Crafty DIYs on a Budget is my Facebook group that I run with my friend Sarah from GGB DIY. If you'd like to join us, there's a link to the group in the description box below. The final DIY is my favorite. It's a gift to my sister. And the thing I like about using wood scraps to make book stacks is because you can cut them down to the size that you want. Now, so for this book stack, since I'm using making a stack of five, I'm going to be using a one by four. First, determine the size you need, cut it down, and then you just need to paint or stain them. And I'm using Waverly chalk paint in the color white. In this video, I've used that Tim Holtz, Dist Holtz Distressing Ink, but you can use Waverly Wax in the color antique, any brown color you'd like, maybe just even a darker color just to add some dimension. I pay special attention to the corners where you would see normal wear, as well as to like the edges of the books. And since these are painted white, I also try to create some definition between each book. So I go over the edges of the book like you see me doing there. I'm going to be applying decals to each book that I cut out using my Cricut. 
And I just wanted to show you that you can also use stickers to add the words or names to the books. You could also freehand them or even use stamps to apply it. I was originally going to use stamps, but the ones that I have are smaller and I was wanting the letters to be a little bit larger, so that's why I used my Cricut. And to finish this off, you just wrap some twine around the blocks. I did use my lighter to burn off the little wispy strings from the twine to give it a bit of a cleaner look. And this is how it turned out. Super cute. I absolutely love it. I hope my sister likes it too. And I just wanted to thank y'all so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. And let me know if you try to make your own book stack. And don't forget, if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Great House. But just don't follow me in real life, though, because that's creepy. Bye!